To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new, and since I'm using millimeters, I'm going to use Akadisu 3D template for metric units and click open. I'm just going to arrange my window, so go to view, tile vertically, I'm going to move this one to the other side, which is my reference drawing, so just click this window, tile vertically again, and uh, I'm just going to adjust my windows here, make this one wider, and Make sure to work on parallel projections. You click this drop down arrow and select parallel. Now I'm going to start from the very top and use a circle with a diameter of 60. So type C for circle. Click anywhere here. Type D for diameter option and enter 60. Now bring this closer. So just click uh, zoom extends. And extrude this one downward as you can see here the depth of that um, circle is 10 so go to home select extrude command inside the modeling panel select the object you want to extrude enter and bring it down for 10 units before we proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap and selection cycling I'm just gonna turn off the grid and hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and just turn this around and I'm gonna create this conical uh, shape so I'm just gonna use I could use loft by drawing two circles and use loft but this time I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use cone so inside the modeling panel click this drop down arrow and select cone and snap that center snap the quadrant you can tell it's quadrant because of that diamond symbol and bring it down right click and select select top radius and the given uh, diameter here is 116 and half of that is 58 which is the radius and uh, enter for the height enter 22 and enter so this is the height here now I'm gonna pre use press pull command so just hover over this face once the color changes see that blue color left click let go bring your cursor downward or your mouse downward for eight units which is the thickness and enter now use cone again hover over and snap the center snap the quadrant bring your cursor downward right click and select top radius and the diameter given here is 100 and half of that is 50 for radius enter 50 and the height is 8 all right so now i'm gonna combine the whole thing to make this one into one object so select a union command inside the solid editing panel and just window the whole thing now this is one object now I'm going to create an object to cut this portion here. So I'm going to start from top view. So the dimension here is given. Uh, top view. So start from top view and I'm going to change this one to wireframe. I'm, I'm going to use circle. Click anywhere here. Type D for diameter option and enter 24 which is this one here I'm gonna use another circle or draw another circle from the center type D for diameter option and enter 46 I'm gonna draw a line from this from the center here to this point here midpoint of the arc and the distance is this one here from the center is 38.91 so draw a line from center and move your cursor upward for 38.91 and copy this line from endpoint to quadrant to quadrant and this quadrant here and this quadrant and this arc here has a radius of 
So I'm just gonna draw a circle from this point for 38.91 and I'm gonna move this um, quadrant or circle move from quadrant to the endpoint and then trim so TR for trim command trim that trim this um, this portion here trim this one and trim this one and this one again trim this one and this one and delete that and I'm gonna join the segment so type J for join command select the arc two lines and this arc here now this is one object now hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time turn this around and extrude this one downward for 10 units as, no not 10 but 5 see this the distance here it's 5 looking from side view which is from this point this corner to this corner so extrude so ext for extrude command select the object you want to extrude right click to enter and move your cursor downward for 5 units now we're going to bring this back to top view and create another arc so just click this drop down arrow and select three point arc now we have three points that's complete so from this end point midpoint and this end point now I'm going to trim, so TR for trim command, remove that, and join the segments, so join this arc, the lines, and this arc here. Now it's one object, and the thickness of this one is uh, this one here, 12. So hold on the shift key and the wheel of your mouse again. And this one is supposed to be move from this midpoint down here move this one downward and extrude this one downward for 12 units and I'm gonna change this to conceptual combine so union command inside the solid editing panel and combine that move from center to the center of this face and subtract command select the object you want to keep and select the object right click and select the object you want to use to subtract now the next thing to draw so bring this to top view are the legs so I'm gonna use um, so the height or the distance from this point from this end to this end is um, 100 so I'm gonna use um, circle with a diameter of 100 units so C for circle click anywhere here type D for diameter option and enter 100 draw a line from in quadrant to quadrant the thickness is 14 so I'm just gonna offset this one so O for offset and half of 14 is 7 select the object you want to offset select this line click this side click this line and click this side now bring this closer by rolling the wheel of your mouse and just trim so TR for trim command enter twice just click this object that's sticking out this extra line there there now trim again enter twice remove that and remove this one and delete this line now i'm going to join the segments by typing j for join command and just window the whole thing now i'm going to hold down the shift key and the wheel of the mouse again and check the height for this one which is 52 here so extrude this object downward for 52 units i'm gonna bring my drawing to right view because i'm gonna i'm just gonna move this one somewhere here 
I'm going to cut, use a circle to cut this portion here. And as you can see here, the distance from the midpoint down to the quadrant of the circle is 5.28. So I'm going to draw a guide. Just going to change this to our frame. So line from midpoint, draw a line downward for 5.28. Which is this one here and now draw a circle with a radius of 42 so this one here and then just move from quadrant to that in point now shift key again and hold down the wheel of your mouse so I'm gonna extrude this circle somewhere here and I'm gonna show you using x-ray now I'm gonna use this cylinder to subtract so subtract command inside the solid editing panel select the object that you wanna keep right click and select the object that you wanna use to subtract there you go I'm gonna bring this drawing to top view and copy this one copy selection you can click anywhere or any input just click here as long as you click back on the same spot so click as the base point click again to paste on the same spot enter and if you click that see the because we turn on the selection cycling you can see that there are two objects there that that are congruent so I'm gonna rotate that so R O for rotate command and you can go to the ribbon Inside the modify panel, there's a rotate command. Select the object you want to rotate, specify base point, snap the center, and just click it and move sideways. And if I turn this around, now combine these two objects, so union command, just window the whole thing. Now I'm going to move this object. Move from center. See that circle? Or I'm just going to ch change this to conceptual move and snap that circle and snap that center i'm just gonna delete those now join the segments or combine by using union command and we are done front view there you go and change this one to realistic Alright, so thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. So bye for now.